Want to work faster on your Mac? You can quickly perform actions you frequently take using keyboard shortcuts. Here are a few to get you started. You can view keyboard shortcut options within any app by clicking one of the menus in the menu bar. For example, we'll click the File menu in the Finder. On the right side of the menu, keyboard shortcuts appear next to the clickable menu items. You can open the other menus to find more shortcuts, which vary based on the app you're using. Okay, now that you know where to find them, let's try some out. We'll start with Copy, Paste, and other common shortcuts. To copy something to the clipboard, start by selecting an image, word, or section of text. Then press Command-C on your keyboard. To paste it in your destination document or app, click the text field and press Command-V. Hmm, this isn't quite right. If you want to undo the action you just took, press Command-Z. Instead, let's paste and match the style of the text in this document so the font and color are correct. Just press Option, Shift, Command V. That's better. We're all done here for now. To quickly quit an application, press Command Q. Now, let's learn some Finder and System keyboard shortcuts. To easily switch between your open apps, Press Command-Tab. While still holding Command, you can press the Tab key again to switch to the next app. To open your selected app, release the Command key. Want to capture something on your screen? You can open the Screenshot app by pressing Shift-Command-5. From here, you can take a screenshot, a screen recording, and more all of which will be saved to your desktop by default. To hide all the windows for your active app, press Command-H. This won't quit the app, but it will remove it from view. You can show it again by clicking the app in the dock. You can use Spotlight Search to find apps and documents on your computer or information from the web. To open it, press Command-Spacebar. Now enter your search phrase. From here, or when using the Finder, you can use Quick Look to get a preview of a file. Just select a file and press Spacebar. You can even scroll to make sure you're finding the right document. To close Quick Look, just press Spacebar again. When you're done using Spotlight Search, click anywhere on your desktop or use the Command Spacebar shortcut again. Now, we'll show you some keyboard shortcuts for documents and text editing. To look up the definition of something while you're in an app or on the web, hover your pointer over a word and press Ctrl-Command-D to open dictionary. So that's what that means. You can quickly add an emoji and other symbols to a text field by bringing up the character viewer. Just press Control command spacebar and make your selection. We'll choose this cactus emoji. And if you need some assistance in an app, just press shift command question mark to open the help menu. Depending on the app, you might find a search field, access to a user guide and more. Next, let's check out some keyboard shortcuts for when you're browsing in Safari. Instead of using multiple Safari windows, open a new tab by pressing Command-T. And to close a tab, just press Command-W. You can also use the shortcut to close windows in other apps. If you have multiple browser tabs open, you can press Control-Tab on your keyboard to switch between them. Keep holding the control key and press the tab key again to switch to the next one. If you have vision accessibility needs, here are a few helpful keyboard shortcuts. You can get started with VoiceOver by pressing Command F5. Welcome to VoiceOver. 
VoiceOver speaks descriptions of items on the screen and can be used to control the computer using only your keyboard. Then you can click Use VoiceOver to enable it. For now, we'll click Turn off VoiceOver. In many apps, you can zoom in to make the content in a window larger. Just press Command plus sign. You can keep holding Command and press the plus sign multiple times to keep zooming in. To zoom out, press Command minus sign. You can also keep holding Command and press the minus sign multiple times to zoom out farther. Now let's quit Safari and open the Accessibility Shortcuts panel which lets you quickly turn on or off accessibility features you might use often. Press Option, Command, F5, and make your selections. Just click Done when you're finished. And that's just the start of what you can do with keyboard shortcuts on your Mac.